This one minute lesson is an overview of Google Docs. I will talk about what they are, how to get started using Google Docs, the different types of Google Docs, security, and permissions. If you would be interested in a more in-depth, hands-on class with Google Docs, let me know and I will set up a Saturday training session. What are Google Docs? Google Docs are a free online replacement for traditional Office Productivity Suite software which is purchased and installed on your local computer. You may be familiar with Microsoft Office or WordPerfect Office. Programs like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access, Publisher, OneNote, and Outlook are part of the Microsoft Office suite. This Google Docs software allows you to do word processing, spreadsheets, slideshow presentations like this one. It allows you to create forms online and basic drawings online. So it's very similar, although not a complete substitute for, let's say, for Microsoft Office. This Google Docs software lives in the cloud on the internet and requires no local software installation on your PC other than a web browser in order to access it. Best of all, it's totally free. Of course, you have to have an account in the Google Borg in order to access it. You do need to have a Google account to use it, but you do not need to set up or use Google Gmail for your email. You can keep and continue to use your familiar Yahoo or Outlook uh, email address. You can even use your familiar non-Gmail email address as your login name for your Google account. Since it is on the internet in the World Wide Web, you can use any web browser to access it. Google Chrome is not required to use Google Docs. Any web browser will do. For example, Brave or Firefox work well with Google Docs. There are advantages in having your software and documents in the cloud as opposed to on your local computer. You don't have to worry about software upgrades when the software is in the cloud. The software sponsor in this case, Google takes care of that. To collaborate on a document, you don't have to email the document around and track the changes and comments that everyone makes. Everyone can view, comment on, and even change the same document in the cloud. If you allow it, the document that you create can be accessed by anyone with an internet connection, so it is easier to collaborate. There's a downside in this, and that is that the documents that you create can potentially be accessed by anyone with an internet connection. So you have to manage and be concerned with their security. I will address the security a little bit later in this presentation. Since Google Docs live in the cloud, multiple people can work on the same Google document, even simultaneously, from different computers in different locations. This is the main advantage of Google Docs. Collaboration is easy. Currently, there are five types of documents that you can create and share with Google Docs. Google Docs is the traditional word processing document for letters and reports. Google Sheets will allow you to create and use spreadsheets. Google Slides are for slideshows and presentations like the one you're viewing right now. Google Forms allows you to create forms online that can be filled out online. For example, event registrations or surveys. Google Draw allows you to create simple graphic drawings that can stand alone or can be embedded inside other Google Docs like a word processing or even a spreadsheet or a slide show like this one. If you do not already have a Google account, you can make one easily by going to accounts.google.com slash sign up. You have to provide basic information such as your first and last name, the name you want on your Google account. This can be uh, your Yahoo email address or a Gmail email address, whatever you want. Your password, your phone number used to verify your identity a different email address for Google account recovery, your birthday and your gender. 
you can customize and limit what others see down to only your name and day month of your birth date. So there's some control over your information that you can exert. That's all for part one of our Google Docs overview. The other parts will come later. And that's your one minute lesson for tonight.